Hey, everybody, and welcome to Y'all Gaming, the only show on the internet that asks, are y'all gaming? We are here today uh, to talk about some stuff. It was in the tweet, in case you guys didn't see it. I am actually literally fresh out of seeing the Mario movie. I still have the popcorn bucket. It's, I think I left it over there, but I, 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 I just got out. I actually thought I was going to be late to the show today. So we'll talk about that briefly, not for too long, because I don't want to spoil anything. I want you guys to see it, but, you know, just some really quick stuff, and then some other things as well. But I'm getting ahead of myself. TK, welcome. Hello. How's it going? How are you enjoying HDR? Man, because you can, because you, come on, man. What? Like, just ask me how I'm doing, so I can be like, man, I'm doing great. I'm playing some HDR. Now you just ruined the whole story. Yeah, I'll spoil it. Anyway, whatever, bro. Spoilers, HDR, great. It's been a good time. Uh, Just... I don't know. It's been like a nice little re revitalization of me wanting to actually play Smash and stuff. But like, I think that's just in general, like with I think all of us being like, all right, man, like this Nintendo bag is dead. It's done. Um, we all with like me, you, me, you at at Summit got two different versions of, uh, yeah. of modded Smash and then come back home and get the third version of modded Smash. So I'm just I'm checking them all out. I'm checking them all out. Sure. And uh, it's been a, it's been a fun time. It's definitely been a fun time. Uh, but outside of that, just been having a good time. You know, uh, I got some cool stuff coming down the line as far as like content uh, pieces for Fresh Cut, by the way. Fresh Cut, big shout out to Fresh Cut. Um, and uh, there's potentially some other good news uh, sooner than later. We'll see what happens in the future, but the future is looking pretty all right right now for your boy TK Breezy. I'll tell, I'll tell you that. Glad to hear. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, I've been wanting. I, HDR looks fun. I want to get into it, but like you need the Switch and like it seems like a mess to set up. Do you like, not have an old Switch? I don't know if I do. I don't know. I, I mean, I might. Is that just oh, one of those I mean, things that you, you like? Did you get it? Uh, it was 2016. Oh, but that Switch old as hell, boy. You really? Man, you be, it's time to get HDR, baby. What uh, are you talking about? But you can't play HDR online, can you? Yeah, you can. What do you think I was doing today? Yeah, but that's laggy, though. Nah, see. What do you mean, nah? What? Nah, l listen, bro. They, it's not, it's not the what Nintendo Wi-Fi, okay? What? The Nintendo Wi-Fi. It's the Nintendo Wi-Fi. Listen, but the Nintendo Wi-Fi is like eleven frames of like, um, of input. You know, like input buffer. You can set your Wi-Fi down based on where you live. So, like, if you're living net real close to someone, y'all can do two frames. Uh, the me and everybody that I've played so far have been doing three frames. And I'm not saying it's not it's not like perfect, but it's definitely much better than any other online that I've played, uh, except for what I'd say like rollback melee. Okay. So well, I'm just I saying, bro, it's really easy to set up. You know, you you can even make some content out of it. It's it's a good time because you don't have a jib, uh, a jig, you know, like the little thing that you have to. So I had to make yeah. a makeshift jig, and that was uh, made of tinfoil. So you could go ahead and do the tinfoil thing too. It's a good time, and banjo's good. Yeah, I that's what really got me looking at it. I was like, damn, Banjo looks kind of fun. But it's also like, I don't know. I don't want to go through all this process to like set it up, get it on my Switch, it, it, get everything done, and then I play it, and I'm like, oh, I can't play online. This sucks. It's a well, lot but of you work, can play you know? online, though. Yeah, but if it's not fun, you know, if the online isn't good, you know what I mean? Like, if it's not... All right, bro. So basically what, what I'm hearing is someone in MDVA, please mod Tony Switch. He'll pay you. That way he doesn't have to do okay, it. I don't know about that. that yeah, way. come on, bro. It'd be like a twenty dollar job. Come on. Well, maybe I'll think about it. But uh, that's not uh, even what we're talking about today. We're not talking about HDR. We're talking about a couple things. First up, uh, we're talking about a Mario movie, and I'm not going to talk about this long because uh, TK is going to go see it tonight, and I'm sure a lot of other people are going to go see it. I'm trying to keep this under wraps. I'm not trying to, you know, spoil anything. It's good, though. It's good. Um, so Rotten Tomatoes lied. Yeah, I think it's one of those things. I understand why it has a bad rating. Because mm -hmm. the Sonic movie, I didn't like. I, like, I liked it fine, but I didn't really like it. But it's a lot more approachable for, like, other audiences. Like... Oh, like someone like not deep into Sonic or gaming. Yeah, because it's just like a buddy okay. comedy movie, right? It's like a true, cop true. comedy. It's just like this alien shows up and he has to learn how to make friends. But it feels more like a movie. Mario movie is not that. It's legitimately just constant action and pacing and nonsense the whole time. Like there's not there there's very little like there's no plot development. There is no character arc. Like, 
there, there's this really weird bit about, like, disappointed parents that, like, is a through line, but not really, and then they drop it at the end. They're like, it, it's really weird. It, it's, it's a strange thing, um, but it, it doesn't actually do anything with it, so... I thought the movie was great, but at the end of the day, it's it's a it's a kids movie, and I would not have seen it alone. <laughs> I I brought my daughter to see it; she loved it. She was very scared at some points because um, it was her first movie, but she loved it. I think, and I think kids are gonna like it. So I think it's very good. I think Rotten Tomatoes was. Uh, I think they they lost it on that one. Okay. All right. Well, um, first of all, why why can't you just go see it by yourself? Cause I, I'm 34. I don't know. Seeing a Mario movie. Bro, by myself, Mario just, came out. We weren't even born when he came out. I like, know, but I just oh I'm my. not gonna go see a Mario movie just me. I'll wait for it to come home. <laughs> I'll wait for it to be in my house. By the way, is the post credit scene actually good or were the actors capping? No, no. Do not wait till after the credits. Just look it up. Seriously, it's not worth it. Dang. Not a joke. Like the the after credits is nothing. Um, but there's a sequel though, potentially. Yes. Okay, and there we go. Look at that. Character that will that their teasing will be in the sequel, but it's it's not worth it. I not I was mad because okay. I really had to pee. I really had to go to the bathroom, and I waited. You know for you that. could. Oh wait, was it like was it like a mid post credits scene or like an in post credit like after everything's done? There no, it's both. So the mid post credit. Oh all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, without spoiling anything. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, there there's there's two. But the the okay. second one is the one that people are talking about. But it's it, for me, no. I, okay, because I was thinking, that, I was like, if it's like truly like a in post credits, like a in like you know, all the credits roll then. Right. Go to the bathroom and then come back. But, <sighs> I know. didn't want to miss it though. I don't know yeah, how long the credits fair. are. You know. That's fair. Could you imagine like <laughs> the quickest credits ever? Like they don't put nobody. <laughs> thank you, thank you, <laughs> Nintendo. That's it. Like <laughs> ten people work on it. Yeah, thanks, Nintendo, and nobody else. <laughs> Just a big Nintendo logo scrolling up. That's it. It was I a good like movie. Nintendo would do. We'll talk about it more later. Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. next week because yeah. I'm going to go see it, and then y'all should – listen, bro. I'm just saying, look, it's one of the – like, everyone's talking about it, okay? If you want to see the movie, then you should see it within the next week. That's all I'm saying. Like, sure. We're not going to talk about it in great detail next week either, but, like, yeah. I just – at least we'll be able to be like, damn, you were right and stuff like that. But I'm yeah. just saying when people be, like, three months out, like – Dog spoilers, bro. You didn't want to see the movie, okay? No. Like, be honest. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, I'm that's, off the screen. All right, come back. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I I was checking to see because right now we're still under smite, <laughs> so I was trying to go into the thing. Sorry to leak the Discord there. I was trying to look at the uh, at the thing to see if uh, we could get that fixed because right now we're still under uh, the backliners. Uh -oh. I forgot. I can't change my Discord thing because then I'll leak my discord and stuff well why don't like you uh, minimize it right and then and then because i can't then... minimize it because you're on screen capture so oh but like if you unminimize it after like why not just come back so you can then fix it i, I can't minimize you though because if i move you to go into the discord chat it'll... it's over yeah it's over it, okay just all right we're we're on smite do, for the rest do of i this. do it do i hold on here now I'll, I'll do it i don't uh, can you I... do that can you affect the title and the no, because he didn't give me that. I'm just gonna hit him up and say, "Hey, bro, can someone change the title?" All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta fix that. Uh oh. All right. Anyway, next uh, topic. Next thing. Uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about Summit, and maybe we should talk about the other thing first, because I feel yeah. like Summit is gonna be. Uh, Resident Evil Four came out. It's good. It's very good. That's it. Um. Okay. I, I, I was gonna say you don't you don't you're not interested in the series, right? I mean, I, I I've watched a, a bit of it. It looks fun. Yeah. Uh, there's some. I'm, the clips that have come out and been on TikTok also look funny, like the the uh, Leon or backflip when he could have just stepped back. Oh, with the chainsaw away from the yeah. act. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm not saying I don't. I wouldn't say I dislike. Um, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I just. Uh, well, you know, I wouldn't say I dislike the current gen of Resident Evil because I feel like if you were asking me to go back and play like a PS1 Resident Evil, no, sure, not at all, not even a little bit, but. Uh, the new ones look all right, you know. So sure. yeah, the uh, this one's good. Uh, RE4 remake is very good to me. I was a little disappointed because it felt they tried to go back to like the survival horror aspects of the old games, mm -hmm. and like RE4 the original is like super action heavy, as I remember it. Maybe I'm misremembering it. I played it like over a decade ago, but four felt to me, way more action-oriented. And this version is a lot more like, 
I don't know. You have to, like, conserve your bullets sometimes. Um, you can't just use, like... I used a handgun the whole game, and that was easy to do. But, like, if I wanted to use a shotgun, I wouldn't be able to do that just as much as I wanted, or a rifle or anything. It was, like, the handgun was the main thing, and part of that was because the case that I had, which dropped more handgun stuff. But it was good. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have a, have a big soft spot in my heart for Resident Evil 4 anyway. Some people think it's the best game ever made. I thought it was good, so... Yeah, that's basically it. I thought it was good. Um, I, I don't know who's on the fence about it and who wouldn't go pick it up. But uh, if you, you know, if you're into it, check it out. I'm just happy that it came out good. All right. There Apparently they're making uh, Resident Evil 5, though. And I don't know how they're going to do that. Cause... I assume they're just going to keep going, though, right? Yeah, just. Yeah, but you know RE5, right? That's the one in Africa that people didn't like did, did they not like it because it was in africa or was there like racial undertones or something or like... yeah yeah oh. that i think it was something because oh. like the whole game is like co-op focused i think so it's like the game has to be co-op focused and then also you're you're fighting in africa and i think some people got mad about that for reasons in the game i don't know because i never played the game and i don't know anything about it but yeah uh I don't know how they're going to do that, but apparently the the ending of this game shows that they're going to go with five. So, okay. yeah, I, good luck. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, um, then I hope that maybe they you know figured out what they messed up with in five the first time and kind of, you know, fix it the next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway. Uh, moving forward, I don't think we have a sponsor read this time. So yeah, moving forward, no. uh, we're gonna talk about Summit. You know, you guys, we we didn't get a chance to talk about it last week because, uh, well, I think both either both of, both of us were busy or sick, one or the other. Mm -hmm. Um, and so now we're gonna talk about it now, man. So Summit, uh, potentially the last Summit, at least Summit uh, de indefinite hiatus because there's no other like, you know, there's nothing on the horizon here. I didn't know. I thought it was gonna be done. Like BTS is gonna be done. All together after that, but then they end up streaming major upsets. That was probably like a already contracted thing, so uh, that was nice, you know, get them a little extra revenue before they, they peace out or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was a good summit. I mean, I think I had this probably to me, three and six were my favorite summits, so yeah, uh, I had yeah, I had a great time there. Um, I think the bracket was was crazy, you know, seeing MK Leo and, and Spargo both not like place uh, that or uh, in, in, in top eight at all, right? Was pretty insane. Uh, you know, Akola getting the W, whatever, whatever. We had pretty good jokes going. The skits were great. You know, all that good stuff. I had a good time. What do you think? Uh, I think six was, yeah, I think it was among my favorites. I do think three was special just because it was right after quarantine. But six, I don't know. Something about it felt different. I loved it. Um, four and five were good, but they did feel a little, I don't know. Maybe it's just because we knew it was the last one, though. You know, maybe mm. it's like that kind of. It's just the feeling of knowing that this would be the last one to have. Um, I, I do think that Spargo going, at, at, like, starting off at 13th really set a precedent, especially at the beginning of the day, because everybody's like, oh, now anything can happen, right? Um, and, and and good on Spargo, by the way, because, like, him and Leo popped off at major upset, and, like, they're, they're back now, which is great yeah. to see. You don't want to see people, like, you know, everybody is the thing. I'm like, oh, this guy's washed. I can't believe he lost, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm really glad to see them still, you know, doing well. I mean, Leo definitely had to beat some out. Two ninths in a row is kind of insane for Leo. So yeah. that's like, a, you know, you don't, you don't, you almost never placed out of top eight in the first uh, place. And then actually that might've been the only time he's placed out of top eight. Now that I think about it. Apparently, uh, outside uh, of the, the Japan tournament or whatever. Yeah. Apparently this streak of two majors, like two open bracket majors in a row that he didn't win. Like that's a streak now, which is like, oh my god, that's crazy. that's crazy, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a great summit. I mean, I I thought the lineup was fantastic. I mean, between Void, Apollo Kage, Sky J, obviously, uh, Karama doing super well. Um, I think the lineup was one of the best it's ever been. Big D didn't even talk about him, um, yeah. which is unbelievable. So, I I thought it was a fantastic summit, and I'm sad that it's the last one. Um, I'm sure more stuff will pop up. Like invitationals and small things, but nothing like that. So, yeah, I think I think Summit like that's just you know from where they came from, where they started. Like they had like a pretty good formula coming 
you know, going down. And I don't, I don't really see. I think there's definitely invitationals that can be thrown, but I don't see them doing like skits and. And I no. think that's like, that means most invitationals should, probably should be three days instead of four now, because right. like, you know, we have me- media day, uh, and then they, two fun days, and then the fun days, right? Well, it's like yeah, well, it's like it's like one and a half fun days because. They do get some stuff done on the first day. Sure. But they're still like, it's Thursday is straight fun. Friday is like fun plus like a little bit of like seriousness. But then again, like a lot of people who lose that first day be like, it don't matter as long as I win gauntlet. Sure. And they're like, okay, well. <laughs> so yeah, Saturday and Sunday really be the day. So I think they can do Friday pools and then Saturday gauntlet and then Sunday finals. And uh, that's probably going to be the new way going forward for at least most places in my in my opinion. But. We'll and I, I think you could do it with eight goes. people too. Like you don't need sixteen, yeah. right? So yeah, there's uh there there are plenty of sort of ways to experiment with the format, and hopefully somebody picks it up. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough. I don't know. Uh, it, it's hard to know what we have to look forward to. Obviously, low tide is coming up, which is in your neck of the woods, right? Mm-hmm. Um, are you going? Because it's at a water park. Don't think so. I haven't been talked to so. I mean, uh, I thought you would just go to go because you always be a like, water park. So. I mean, I do love that, but there's also Riptide, so. Yeah, but it's in Texas, which means it's hotter and probably better. Well, I think the Ohio one is the best one in the country. Like, Bro, what? size-wise. Yeah, I think I looked that up. That The Ohio what? Kalahari, like Sandusky. Plus, they got Cedar Point there. Like, the best? Where is the best Kalahari? Where? Listen, I'll go anywhere that I am invited. But, you know. Uh, well, you know, look, they are a resort. Um, I had to ask them straight up. Ooh. I was like, because uh, I was like, hey, look, bro, you know, I live here. Like, I can just stay. <laughs> like, I can, I don't have to stay. I'm like, you don't have to give me a room. Just, like, pay me a decent rate. And he's like, oh, yeah, man, for sure. Uh, yeah, you're right. The Calhari Resort in Sandusky is the largest indoor water park in the U.S. All, all together. Sheesh. Uh, all right. Well, then. Wow. GG's. GG's, Calhari. Yeah. I, I just can't believe Ohio of all places, right? Like <laughs> they need something, bro. They're not yeah. they're not getting any W's anywhere else. But anyway, back to Summit. Uh, yeah, I mean we had a pretty like good time. There was a kind of like a heartfelt ending. Yeah. Uh, as as well, got to hang out with a lot of the staff for uh, the little after party, and it was nice, man. You know, it was less about like oh, you know, see you next, you know, six months from now. It's right. more like hey, you know, so are you guys gonna be good? Like, what do y'all have planned? And everyone seemed to be like in good spirits. Like no one's like oh. I'm be homeless or anything. So what? That, I I love seeing that because I don't want you know to know that like the people these people that I'm always happy to see are now struggling. Yeah. Because of like uh, Summit shutting down, I feel really bad for LD because like this was like a really big, huge passion project uh, that like kind of took off, and then well everything happened here uh, the way that it happened last year, which I think was just a trickle down effect from you know the Panda stuff, the VG stuff, and sure. you know all these sponsors pulling out after that because. Smash doesn't look that lucrative anymore. And yeah, man. So it's rough. I think there is like a lot going against us. But at the same time, though, there definitely is some, some couple silver linings there. You know, you saw the thing about HBox talking about talking with some big investor. Uh, sure. The, the Luminosity gaming kind of stepping up and they're kind of doing big things. Fresh Cut coming Fresh through cut, as well. Yeah. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of good stuff. Uh, that is like kind of bringing us back out that super huge hole that I felt like right after everything happened. I was like, damn, this we're, we're going back to like regional times, right? Like, you know, yeah. Clash tournaments on the way back, bro. Like, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At that point, we thought it was kind of curtains for everything, but no, I think things are okay. And and after talking with a lot of people at Summit, like you said, a lot of them were optimistic and hopeful and had a lot of stuff going on. So I think things are okay, but it is sad. Um, I will say, you know, Luminosity has their pick of the litter now, right? With CLG, yeah. I mean, like, Void got dropped. I, apparently, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's been... I think there's still uncertainty. I know Cody's gone. Um, I feel like if Cody's gone, the Void's got to be gone, right? You would think, but I don't know, because Void's been on there since 2016, I think. Like, yeah. so he... If, it, if they're going to keep anybody, they're keeping him. But uh, Cody's been dropped. I, th- I assume Magi has, because um, I think she just got picked up. Uh, Zane, you know, leaving Golden Guardians. I figured that that... I, th- I thought maybe that was happening anyway, like Zane was going to Luminosity, and that's why he left GG, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
regardless, a lot of uh, a lot of things moving and shaking, and a lot of things to be curious about. So, I don't know. Yeah, and, and like, and I think as you as you said, you know, uh, with with all that being said, I feel like I'm kind of worried, worried now that like with Luminosity really seeming like the only real tier one esports that's still in. Sure. Uh, like. What's the competition? Because like you know, other people got picked up, but it's like Cosmos by Two Six Rising, which I don't know too much about Two Six Rising. Maybe they are a tier one, right. but I've never heard of them like a CLG TSM Cloud Nine type deal. Um, and then Cloud Nine doesn't have it. I don't think they have any ultimate players. No. So, yeah, I mean, well, honestly, Cloud Nine's probably whole bank is just on Mango, so no reason to. I feel like there's really no reason to. Like look at anybody else. Mango still has that same celebrity status around him, so yeah, they're gonna stick with him. No matter what, so yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm wondering what's gonna happen in the future because I do feel like it kind of having Tweak and Leo on the same team also kind of like dampens the rivalry a bit for me. Yeah, because they're you know they're on the same team, they're repping the same group, which you know isn't a bad thing objectively, but it's like oh you guys are it it's. Having them under the same roof just means that that team star power is way stronger than anything else anybody else has. Um, yeah. Obviously, Faze still has Spargo, uh, which is like damn good for him, especially after yeah, but, all their stuff Faze went through. Yeah, but they, but they have. I mean, they have three. Luminosity has three good, like you know, great players, or at least notably notably right. named players. So, like, dude, I'm speaking of man, this Luminosity is is really annoying because like. I, you know, I said uh, the first tweet that I made was like, oh, you know, uh, see, y'all picked up two of uh, mm -hmm. the best players. You know, you should pick up two. You should pick up one of the best commentators. And some guy was like, don't you mean three of the best players? I was like, dude, Meister has been on Luminosity. Like, yeah. he didn't get picked up like today. He's been on Luminosity. So when I said picked up, I meant the new people that they've added. So everyone's trying to make like, you know, they're trying to like. Trying to get you. They want you to be, yeah, they want you to like also be part of the people that are like making fun of Marty I was like, no, like he's sponsored. He's been sponsored for a while. Like I'm not going to include him in the fact that I said you guys have just picked, just picked up. Yeah. Two of the, uh, the, the best players. Like it wasn't like, oh, you guys only have two players. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just, I don't know. The, people are looking for any excuse they can to like get some kind of drama or juice something. Yeah. The comprehension is very low sometimes when it comes to these Smash kids. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. The future of Smash is, is interesting right now because like it's, it doesn't feel like it's bleak, but it definitely feels like it's some level of a limbo because there's no like, what do you like? What there's nothing really to be looking forward to right now. Like when when the Panda Cup was up and the, um, and the VG Cup was up, like you always knew like all right, you know, until the finals, we always have something to look forward to. So sure. the next tournament and the next you know content drop, whatever, whatever. And then all that got scrapped, so it's like, all right, well, you know, what now? And, like, yeah, there's still tournaments being ran, but because of the fact that, like, BTS is gone and BTS was, like, one of the major com uh, streaming uh, components of, you know, tournaments, right. VG is kind of, like, still, like, you know, they said they're not gone, but they haven't really said anything either. Right. Um, so it's, like, the two big streaming conglomerates are out the way. Um, you still have, obviously, you know, House of 3K, but usually they're, like, white-labeled to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, t Loak, but they were never really that big in the first place. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so it's like, I don't know, what's next, basically, as we're all sitting at? Like, you know, who's going to come up and really make uh, some waves and make some plays and really, like, you know, move us forward out of what feels like a Smash depression? Sure. I mean, yeah. new orgs will always step up. There will always be new people coming to the forefront. But it's like, how how much are they going to invest? Like, because it's, it's tough to rationalize putting a lot into the community sometimes especially when you see things that are perceived as these big pillars of the scene going down it's uh it, it's tough it's tragic who, who made juvies who was that uh nate shot i think hey man let's get him in <laughs> yeah okay if he was the, the gonna be in, he would get in now. i literally <laughs> just had to look it up i was like i think that was nate shot okay yeah yeah nate shot. All right. yeah i need that bro the juvie invitational sounds like it goes crazy juvie's I'm good talking. Juvies are so good. Like they, they've sent me, they sent me the new flavor. Oh, yeah. What the is it? The blueberry went crazy. Blueberry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious, bro. In fact, I got one right here. This how, this how y'all know I be drinking the juice. Not this. This isn't blueberry. This is just the one I was drinking today. Sure, sure. No, they're nice. Delicious. I gotta talk to somebody anyway. about getting some product, but yeah. Yo, dude, just, 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 just DM them, bro. I promise you. Nate shot. 
<laughs> DM A and H shot yeah, is Cody. He's Let me gonna be some... paying attention, you know, huh? No, no, DM Juvie the oh the, the Twitter. drink because, because the guy who runs that Twitter was at the Genesis. That's how I met him. Oh, okay. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, just, you know, hit him up. Hooked it up. But no, GV is a uh, is a energy drink. It is a rejuvenating. It is short for rejuvenating energy. So GV, rejuvenating. And then uh, zero sugar, five calories. You know, it's got a good amount of caffeine, but it tastes good. That's the real thing. That's the real kicker. That it doesn't taste like I'm drinking like pure energy, like a monster, like a pure energy drink. It tastes, right. It just like you definitely. It's still an energy drink, but it it tastes very good. I feel like the uh, the energy drink market is sort of moving away from the super harsh like it, it almost had like an energy taste where right. it was like you knew what that would taste like that's super carbonation um mm -hmm. that's kind of how all the other stuff makes it. but yeah it's really like i don't know gentle soft smooth but it sounds like we're cutting an ad now i'm gonna stop the show thank you My guys bad. for watching anyway, anyway, wait 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 one second, one second, one second. Before, before we quit before we quit yeah yeah uh what have you thought about kick just just interesting oh we're getting into kick i just want to um, know what you think yeah, I I think it is, I I think the ninety five five route is incredibly uh it, it's it's incredibly attractive to streamers. In case you guys don't know, uh people on Kick make ninety five percent of the sub revenue. So you know, out of every five dollars, you'll make what is it? What's four fifty? What's one twentieth? Oh, no. no, it's even more. It, what's Wait, one twentieth of five dollars? It's a quarter. So you make oh, four seventy five each. I think. Uh, Unless I'm stupid, I thought I thought it was a ninety ten though. Hold on, kick streaming uh, at a split or sub split. Uh, yeah, no, you're right, ninety five five. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's huge. That so it's ninety five five, but that to me feels like a honey pot. Like I feel like that's a trap because I think streamers will look at that, they'll see the numbers, and they'll be like, oh, that's perfect, and then they might make the jump, but like. Kick doesn't have the sustainability, I think. I think it's like right now it's being funded by, you know, Stake, I think, uh, the the gambling site. Uh, and, and I don't know what's going to happen in six months. I think it's it's something that has high potential to be to go down. But it is a gamble. And I think that Stake, you know, them being a uh, part of it is is part of, you know, it makes sense that the gambling website is on it. Um, no content restrictions is uh, kind of crazy considering the stuff they've been airing. Um, yeah. there, there's a there's a TOS, but it is very loosely. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's very loosely enforced. I mean, because I've been all the wild clips that I've seen in the last few months have all been from Kick. So I'm surprised. Like, you know what? What is R slash Kick looking like right now? But oh crazy. God, <laughs> Jeez. But my feeling about Kick uh, is that um i saw this this tweet a little while back and that's why i was thinking about it sure um uh, that a lot of kick right now is is gift subs like a lot of it mm -hmm. and like that's not really a sustainable way to go no. you know what i mean like i think you need to know what your base level is like i think that like my base level of, of subs will always be like 300 and then anything over that is usually like extra gifts Great. And stuff like that yeah. Yeah. I, may, I may i may get like a you know a pretty big you know stream and like 20 people might like man manually subscribe but more often than not it's probably like a couple gifts or whatever right yeah here on on kick like if your base is like 10 but your gift sub is like four thousand, like those niggas aren't doing that shit the next month right so it's yeah i don't i don't know man i mean i'm very interested to see uh how that goes i think it doesn't last i think that the gimmick of like you can stream anything is like a it's a novelty and i think it goes away with time um, and I, I think it's something that, what is their differentiator right now? Cause there really isn't one it's edgy content, but I, I don't think the culture wants that right now. Maybe it will, maybe a pendulum swings and maybe, maybe Twitch SDs like it, literally Twitch might self-destruct. I mean, we know that they're not profitable. Um, and they keep making these weird decisions. Uh, yeah. so like if Twitch blows up or if amazon decides to stop you know d funding this um then yeah i could see that being a thing so maybe it's a long-term play from kick but yeah i don't i don't know i i think if you want to play the long game with twitch you're gambling because it's like all mm -hmm. right well i think jeff bezos is going to get 
sick of Twitch burning all this money in six months. It's like, okay, well, what if they last another eight years? How long can Kick keep the fire going? I don't know. Yeah. So. Well, I think if I swap off of a platform, or Twitch for any reason, I'm just going to go to YouTube. I don't. Yeah, sure. I definitely a little too shook to try to do anything with uh with Kick. So. But yeah, that was. I was just wondering what your thoughts were. So yeah, we can go ahead and end the show now. Thank you guys for watching. I've thought about. Like not oh. jumping to kick, but I've thought about what that would look like, and I'm like, ah. Eh. I mean, like Prime is the big thing. Like, if mm-hmm. Twitch takes away Primes, and I guess that's it. Like, that's the one thing that they have that's a super differentiator, because everything else is like on other. I don't think you can give subs on YouTube though, right? Uh, I think I don't that's know, actually. still not possible. I, I mean, I mean, I imagine maybe not. I don't know, but I think it would be. Yeah, if if they get primes out the way, then yeah, I guess I could. Be oh, you can. Okay, never here. mind. Okay, maybe that's an old thing. I I know that like YouTube was weird because everybody was like, yeah, if YouTube just decides to focus on streaming, they can push out Twitch in a year, but they don't care about that. They're scared about TikTok, which they should right. be. Like, YouTube should definitely focus on TikTok in short form before they worry about Twitch because Twitch will, like. That's a bigger fight, you know, so. Right. Uh, but anyway, that's the show. Thanks for watching Y'all Gaming. Anything else you want to drop on? Nah, that's going to be it. I was I, I was probably going to think about going back streaming, but actually, no, nah, I got to do some other stuff, and then I got to get ready to go to the Mario movie. Mario Ooh, died. Yahoo, wee The beginning yep. is very good. Uh, good. The opening is not the first scene, but the one after. I think they did a really cool, I think they did a good thing with it, and you'll see what I mean, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching all gaming. Goodbye.